This is Jake Saga 13 here, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, Generations video uh, about the best Real Madrid team in Generations. That's 2000, FIFA 2010 to FIFA 14. So, um, I'm going to be doing this today, probably uh, the, um, where I do the squad reviews of nationalities and leagues. But still doing that, just doing this as well. I'm going to try to put out one of those either tonight or tomorrow morning. And I'm going to try to keep a schedule of three videos in the week, weekdays, uh, Monday, you know, Monday through Friday, and three videos on the weekend, you know, Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to try to keep to that schedule. That's six videos per week. So I'm going to start off with the goalkeeper. And it's pretty obvious who's going to go there. Iker Casillas, the best goalkeeper in the world since 2008, somewhere around there. Still the best goalkeeper in the world. Some people may not think so, but it's statistically proven that he's been the best this season. I'm going to put out a video of actually the, uh, the World Eleven um, in this season so far. And there will be a couple of surprises basing off of statistics. And, you know, it's going to be pretty interesting. So that video, about, video will be out soon, as soon as I complete the statistics. But I can tell you that Casillas will be on there. Uh, Neuer is the second best. But, you know, if Casillas played more games, he might be second. Uh, might might not be as consistent, but in the games that he's played, he's kept, I think it was seven clean sheets in ten games, only conceding either three or four goals. And I know three of the goals were against, yeah, it probably was four goals, because three of the goals he did concede were all against Juventus in the Champions League. So, uh, on to the center back. Uh, well, the center backs, the first one is going to be Carvalho. Now, the two center backs are the only thing that Real Madrid really lacks. Technically, they do have one amazing center back, but he's also a right back. And, you know, you'll probably know who that is, but he's going to be in the squad at the right back position. So, Carvalho there, and then the next person in this squad is going to be uh, Pepe, and there aren't really that many uh, great center backs. Varane has an 82 rated card, which is pretty good, uh, but he'll probably have a team this season this season as well. I, I would think so. He's been doing pretty well. If not, he will be higher rated later on. You know, he'll definitely be, definitely would fit into the squad in a couple of years. But for now, those are the two best center backs. And then there's obviously the Ramos, which is 93 rated. Uh, in three different FIFAs, but uh, to keep the highest rated, it actually doesn't matter. It's Ramos, and when I say it doesn't matter, it's because you can put uh, this formation at a 3-4-1-2 or a 3-5-2, either one you like, and it'll have Modric in there, um, and you know, no no outside backs. Uh, but, uh, or you could do this. And either way, it is the same rating, but I'd say this one is probably a little bit better uh, statistics-wise. You know, uh, that 91 rated Ramos is amazing. But anyways, on to the left back, and it's going to be Marcelo back there, a team of the season, I think it is. Yeah. A lot of Brazilians. Okay, so yeah, maybe, that might be a team of the year, actually. I'm not quite sure, but either way, 89 rated Marcelo, and then in the defensive mid position, moving on to Xabi Alonso, and he is, I think, 93 rated. Now, there's actually two 93 rated Alonsos. If there's two of the same rating, I go with the better one statistics-wise. Now that there's this one, and I'll go ahead and show you this. This is some EA logic right here. There's that 93 rated Ramos, and then there's this 93 rated Ramos. Now look at their stats. This Ramos has 8 more pace, 6 more shooting, 4 more passing, 9 more dribbling, 6 more defending, and 14 more heading. And they are the same rating. So yeah, some EA logic there for you. And you know who the left mid is, so I'll go ahead and put him in. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, the best player in history. Uh, not really, that's debatable. You know, it depends on, you know, I mean, uh, you can't really prove who's the best player in history because, you know, they played different times. Rom Ronaldo is definitely one of the best in history, and so is Messi. Currently, Ronaldo is better, but, 
don't know. It depends on if Ronaldo can keep his form, whether he'll break some more records this season uh, and break a couple of Messi's records even. But anyways, um, on to the right mid, and then you can use Di Maria here or Bale. Di Maria is one less. Um, Di Maria also has had uh, quite a bit of high-rated cards, but surprisingly, Bale already has a higher-rated card than Di Maria. Well, know, kind of surprisingly, which is 88-rated. Di Maria's highest is 87. And anyways, on to the offensive mid position. Uh, I would use Kaka here. The 90 rated Kaka from FIFA 10 is absolutely amazing. But the highest rated is Ozil, and it's going to be the 91 rated team of the year or team of the season. I'm not actually sure. I think in FIFA 13, the team of the seasons had the gold, the gold um, highlight of uh, the rating, and then the other ones were just plain. I don't know about FIFA 12, and I'm actually not sure which one Ozil is uh, either way. But you know, pretty much the same thing. Uh, they, they're gonna have a, the same ratings if they make either, or, or close to it. Anyways, on to the two strikers, and there's not really been that many different strikers at Real Madrid. There's a couple of youth strikers, a couple of really amazing youth strikers that are gonna be really good. But the highest two rated at this point are Benzema and Higuain. Although Higuain is no longer at the club. Which uh, is good news for Benzema because he now starts pretty much every game. Um, but anyways, so 89 rated Higuain and 90 rated Benzema. Not too bad. And that is the team. It is 77 rated without a bench or anything. With a bench of really high rated players, it's going to be above like 188, some, somewhere around there. But a really amazing team. There's only... There's actually not any normal cards. This Higuain was either an upgrade or an inform or something like that. But uh, the rest of them are either team of the season, team of the year, or inform cards. Now, uh, two of the cards are FIFA from FIFA 13, FIFA 14. Um, but there will probably be a couple more. Say Bale might get one more uh, team. Of, might get a team of the season card. Probably deserves it at this point. But anyways, up until now, that is the best FIFA generations Real Madrid team. The next one uh, would probably be Barcelona, maybe Manchester United or Bayern Munich. Uh, I'm not sure which one to do. And then I'll probably jump to a lower team after that. But anyways, so that'll be the end of the video. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys later.